hey guys welcome back to another brand new video now let's talk about bitcoin okay now let's specifically talk about why you guys should own a few percentages of bitcoin and why you guys should start accumulating okay like literally guys like why you guys should start you know right now to start accumulating bitcoin right to start buying into bitcoin right start investing your own money into bitcoin and start accumulating bitcoin you know what i mean um own you know at least one bitcoin okay i've been trying to tell you guys to own at least one bitcoin you know what i mean i really do believe if you just own one single coin right it's one single bitcoin you will become a millionaire you will become wealthy and you will have financial freedom which is what everyone wants in this world okay literally most people that live in this world wants to have financial freedom right like literally you can't tell me if you're watching this video right now you don't want have you don't want financial freedom you know what i mean you don't want to you know do the things that you want to do in life you know what i mean things that you actually enjoy and get paid for it still get paid you know what i mean there's money flowing into your account you know what i mean like you guys want have you guys want that you know what i mean you can't tell me you don't want that you know what i mean and if you have financial freedom, just know it's rare to have financial freedom, right? It really is. Not a lot of people out there in this world have that, you know what I mean? So I know for a fact, most people watching this video right now want to have financial freedom. And I really do believe if you just own one single Bitcoin, okay, or even more, obviously you'll have financial freedom over the time, okay, over time, you know what I mean? I believe in 2030, you know what I mean? Like I said before, it's going to reach $1 million. And then eventually after that, it's going to reach, you know, $3 million, you know what I mean? Five, $10 million, you know what I mean? I really do believe that's possible, okay? Down in the future. That could happen in 2035, 2040, 2045, 2050, you know what I mean? Like, this is going to happen, okay? It's just going to take time, okay? Um, so, guys, I've been trying to, you know, tell you guys, to start accumulating Bitcoin, okay? I've been trying to tell you guys to start accumulating more Bitcoin. I don't care if you start accumulating, you know, just 1% of a Bitcoin, you know what I mean? 1% worth of one whole Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Like, it's not much, okay? It's not much, that's like a few hundred dollars, but still, guys, that's still something. It's better than zero, you know what I mean? So, I'm trying to tell you guys, okay, to start accumulating Bitcoin now before, okay, before it gets even more harder for you guys to start accumulating Bitcoin when it's reaching, you know, hundreds and thousands of dollars and millions of dollars. So I'm trying to tell you guys right now to start accumulating Bitcoin today, right? It's literally like right this second in the circle in this year, 2022, start accumulating Bitcoin now because it's easier than the next few years. Okay. Like, Think about it, guys. Bitcoin right now, you know, is trading at over fifty thousand dollars here in Australia. I believe in America, it's at like forty thousand dollars. You know what I mean? I know that's a lot of money, and I'm not saying that's not a lot of money. That is a lot of money. There's a lot of people out there that can't just, you know, invest, you know, fifty thousand dollars into an asset. You know what I mean? Because they don't have that type of money, and I get that. You know what I mean? But it's a thing called dollar cost averaging, okay? And it's a technique. That a lot of investors use you know what i mean so let's just say every week every two weeks or so you invest you know a thousand dollars or you know two thousand dollars or even more than that if you can for the next year you just keep consistently investing for the next year you know every like two weeks you know every fortnight or every month you invest you know a thousand dollars for the next year you keep consistently doing that right for the next year right it's a great technique to use, right? A lot of investors, right, use this technique. I personally do use it, you know what I mean? And it's great. It really is, you know what I mean? So to invest into Bitcoin, guys, you don't have to invest the whole amount of whatever Bitcoin is trading at, you know what I mean? You don't have to invest, you know, $40,000 in one go. You don't have to invest, you know, $50,000 in one investment. You can literally invest little as a dollar into Bitcoin right now, like literally, you know what I mean? Like when I first started, you know, investing into like Bitcoin, I literally thought I had to invest the whole amount of whatever Bitcoin was trading at, you know what I mean? And boy, was I wrong, you know what I mean? When I realized 
that I could invest as little as a dollar, ten dollars, a hundred dollars, fifty dollars. You know what I mean? I just started to consistently dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a great technique, guys. Use it. You know what I mean? Um, figure out what you guys are comfortable investing in. You know what I mean? And just stick with that amount for the next year and keep consistently investing your money into Bitcoin. Okay. Keep dollar cost averaging, right? But be consistent with it. Okay. So guys, I'm trying to tell you guys right now, it's easier to accumulate at least one whole Bitcoin right now, right? Then it is, then it will be, you know, okay. Then it will be for the next few years. Cause like I said, yes, right now, Bitcoin, you know, a lot of people think, you know, 40, $50,000, $60,000, 70, $80,000 is a lot of money, right? But imagine Bitcoin at, you know, $300,000. Imagine how hot, how much harder it will be to accumulate Bitcoin when it's at $300,000. You know what I mean? Comparing it to where it is now. Cause I'm telling you guys right now, Bitcoin is eventually going to reach, you know, $100,000. That's going to happen this year. I'm sticking with that. You know what I mean? That's my prediction this year for Bitcoin in 2022. I really do believe Bitcoin this year is going to reach $100,000. Okay. And then beyond that, $400,000, $500,000, you know what I mean? Half a million dollars, right? And then it's going to reach $1 million and millions of dollars. Imagine how much harder that will be to accumulate Bitcoin. You know what I mean? Like if you want to own one Bitcoin, and it's at $700,000. Can you imagine how much harder it will be to accumulate at least one Bitcoin comparing it to it now? So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. To accumulate Bitcoin now. Because it's much easier now, okay, to buy Bitcoin. And Bitcoin, I'm, I'm going to say it here. Okay, I'm going to say it here. Okay, Bitcoin is undervalued. I'm going to say it. And it's on a dip right now. It's consolidating. It's on a straight line for the past few days now. Bitcoin hasn't really been doing anything. Okay. It's literally been going on a straight line. Little dips and little ups. And then it's been going straight. You know what I mean? Little consolidations and all that. It hasn't really been doing anything. Nothing really interesting is happening with the Bitcoin and pretty much the whole crypto market. So this is a good time right now to buy guys. To start accumulating Bitcoin. And I've been telling you guys to try and accumulate at least one whole Bitcoin. If you have one whole Bitcoin congratulations okay congratulations okay you're gonna have financial freedom okay in the next decade or 15 years you know what i mean like you will have financial freedom when you're older you know what i mean so i'm trying to tell you guys here you know what i mean like you guys okay you guys will have financial freedom if you just own one bitcoin okay i really made a whole separate video about this but this is the thing, guys. Bitcoin, okay, there's a limited supply. You guys know this. It's only 21 million Bitcoins in the world that can exist, that can be mined. Okay, no more, no less, right? Officially, over 19 million Bitcoins have been mined, right? Recently, this just happened, okay? At the beginning of this month, April, right? So now if we think about it, there's only 21 there's only sorry there's only two million less than two million now guys less than two million bitcoins to be mined and people say the last bitcoin to be mined is 21 2140 right the year 2140 that's when the last bitcoin will be mined right and you guys have to understand this is about <clears throat> you know four million okay a total of four million bitcoins that are lost forever Okay, it's just lost. Like people put in their hard wallet, for example, and they don't know the password, you know what I mean? And there's like thousands of Bitcoins in there, right? So it's gone. They don't have access to that Bitcoin, you know what I mean? So people say about over 4 million Bitcoins are lost forever. Okay, we don't know where it is. It's gone. You know what I mean? We don't know where it is, right? The creator of Bitcoin, right? Satoshi Nakamoto, right? The creator of Bitcoin. This anonymous person, we don't know who this person is, you know what I mean? Even to this day, we have no idea who this person is, right? The creator of Bitcoin <clears throat> personally owns 1 million Bitcoins. So if you really think about it, guys, there's about, you know, 16 to 17 million Bitcoins that exist, you know what I mean? Like, technically, you know what I mean? Which makes it even more scarce, you know what I mean? Like, 21 million Bitcoins is already scarce, you know what I mean? That's 
not even much, you know what I mean, considering this is like almost 8 billion people that live in this world, you know what I mean, that live on Earth. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, like, not everyone, sorry, not everyone can own a Bitcoin, you know what I mean? And that's why the price of Bitcoin is going to go up because the, the demand is going to go up. A lot more people in the future are going to start buying Bitcoin once they understand where Bitcoin is heading, you know what I mean? Because Bitcoin is the future. It really is. It's going to become global around the world, you know what I mean? And when that happens, <clears throat> the, the, the demand is going to go up for Bitcoin. A lot of people are going to want to start buying Bitcoin, you know what I mean? And like I said, not everyone can own a Bitcoin, right? So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, to never sell your Bitcoin, to accumulate at least one whole Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Or even a small percentage of a Bitcoin. It doesn't even have to be one whole Bitcoin, guys. Like, literally, guys, try and own at least 0.10 worth of a Bitcoin or 0.28 or 0.30 or 0.50, you know what I mean? Half of a Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Own at least 50% worth of a Bitcoin. Like, I'm trying to literally tell you guys, like, just to own at least some type of percentage of a Bitcoin, you know what I mean? Start accumulating Bitcoin now, guys, because right now, I'm trying to tell you guys, it is so much more easier to accumulate Bitcoin now than in the next few years. Because, guys, <clears throat> trust me, yes, even though this year in 2022, Bitcoin and the whole crypto market hasn't really been doing much, okay? It's mainly been going down, okay? There's a lot of crashes, and it hasn't really been doing much. But guess what? For the long term, Bitcoin and crypto, okay, they're going to go up. They're going to shoot up, right? You have to do this for long term, guys, right? You guys are investors. You guys are not traders, right? If you want to start trading or day trade with crypto, go for it. You know, I know people that make a lot of money from it, but you have to actually know what you're doing. You know what I mean? It's really risky and it really does screw with your emotions. So be careful because you can lose a lot of your money if not all of your money, you know what I mean? If you don't know what you're doing. So I'm trying to tell you guys to invest into Bitcoin for long term. Do this for long term. Don't do this for short term. Who cares about short term gains? Care about long term gains. Care about, you know, life changing wealth, life changing money. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I'm trying to tell you guys right now, okay? Like try and accumulate Bitcoin now as much as you can right now because it's easier now to accumulate Bitcoin than in the next few years, you know, maybe in 2024 when Bitcoin's at, you know, two to $300,000 or even more than that. Who knows, you know what I mean? In 2025, you know, it's going to be easier now. People look at the Bitcoin price and think it's too late. It is not. Even though, yes, the price is really high comparing to, for example, Ethereum, right? Ethereum's, what, at three, dollars $4,000, you know what I mean? Solana is only at like $150, $160, you know what I mean? So yes, Bitcoin price is really high comparing it to the other altcoins that are on the crypto market, right? But you guys have to understand, it is really low right now because Bitcoin is going to reach millions, okay? Not just one million, millions, okay? With an S at the end of that, okay? Millions of dollars per Bitcoin. So just imagine, guys, owning one Bitcoin. Imagine that's that's like life changing, you know what I mean? Like you'll be the one percent of millionaires in the world, right? There's only about <clears throat> you know fifty six million people, I believe fifty six million people on Earth that are millionaires. Correct me if I'm wrong, right? But that's just what I heard. So guys, start accumulating Bitcoin now, okay? Start now, okay? To accumulate Bitcoin today is easier than the next few years okay it's going to be so much easier now to accumulate bitcoin than in the next few years when bitcoin is just too high and for most of us right it's going to be too hard to start accumulating bitcoin at that price you know what i mean so guys i'm trying to tell you guys i'm like i'm literally begging you guys to start accumulating bitcoin now if you haven't already start now if you are accumulating bitcoin keep going if you own you know one bitcoin and you're just gonna you know, relax and say, oh, yeah, I own one Bitcoin. All right, I'm going to, you know, once you own one Bitcoin, guys, you have options. You can either keep 
investing into Bitcoin and keep accumulating more Bitcoins, you know, go for the goal of another Bitcoin, you know, two Bitcoins, three Bitcoins, five Bitcoins, 10 Bitcoins, 20 Bitcoins, you know what I mean? But if you own one Bitcoin and you want to start investing into other, you know, cryptocurrencies that are on the market, you know, there's Ethereum, there's Solana, there's Cardano, there's BNB, you know what I mean? There's Avalanche, there's Polygon, there's Cardano, right? If you want to start investing into other altcoins, go for it because these other cryptocurrencies are great long-term investments in my opinion, you know what I mean? But you just really have to do your own research, right? So guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm begging you guys to start accumulating Bitcoin right now. Okay, because trust me, it's easier. It's so much easier to accumulate Bitcoin right now than it will be in the next few years. Because I promise you guys, in 2023, 2025, 2027, 2029, 2030, you know what I mean, 2035, it's going to be so much harder to accumulate Bitcoin. Okay, Satoshis, as people call it, right? So accumulate now, guys, before it's too late. Because right now, it is not late. This cycle, you know, this year in 2022 is not late. Trust me. So start now before it actually gets too late, right? So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I really will appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Have a good day.